up this morning trying to figure out why the heck I was getting up at 3 o'clock in the morning. Well, we had one or two options, either sit inside or get out and make the best of the day. It's pretty windy and cold out here, but uh, we already caught one and uh, we're planning on catching a few more. Got to burn time until the off season, until the deer season gets here, so what better way than sitting outside enjoying the great outdoors. Stick with us, we're going to fish We're going to show you how to do it. Alright, so when we first walked out here, it was a little bit of a rough walk, so we didn't really necessarily want to walk out to the furthest point. But at the end of the day, these fish usually use these banks to so their advantage. We're fishing on a point here. Right all the way over there is the tip of that point. Being able to get out there is what's going to give us the best advantage. Us walking out to that tip is just going to be able to get our lines to the furthest point of the water where these fish are most likely to be. That's what's going to have to happen in order for us to probably get us another bite. So, go on ahead on over with us. We're going to show you how it's done, hopefully. Sometimes these fish are going to be pushed right to us. If it's blowing, I don't have to 10 knots. And most of the time, you can't even cast. But you got a 5 to 10 mile wind blowing in your face. Some of the best fishing conditions you'll ever have. Especially on striper fishing for the off the beach. We always try to figure out the best way to get out here without a boat and try to still catch some big fish. And Making the most of each minute is uh, is what we pride ourselves on, and at the end of the day, most of the time we're pretty successful. But uh, this is look like it might be turning out to be one of those days where we might be just bringing be bringing home uh, <laughs> a few bunkers to eat. So at least Jimmy's shucking the clams. I don't have to worry about freezing my hands today. So 
We'll see what happens. Alright, so what we're doing here, trying to get this hook through at least three times. Right through the muscle of the top, bringing it down once, popping through, turn back around, going in one more time, through the muscle, turn back around, and then go one time through the through the bottom of the muscle as well. We want to try to bury the hook as much as possible and just try to make it look as natural as possible flowing in the water. Try to push that clam over the lip, over the loop, and then that bottom muscle on the bottom, that real tight part, put that last hook through once, and that's just going to prevent that hook from sliding off. There he is, buddy. You got him? You got him? You sure? You lost him. You got him. Small fish. Looks like we have our first small fish for Jimmy Polito. Is there a fish on there? Or is it a bunker, bro? Walk back with him, walk back. He's not exactly a wall mounter, but uh... <laughs> Where the little ones are, the big ones usually uh, hang out, so... Give him a kiss, buddy. <laughs> This is a PG show, Jimmy. Congratulations, buddy. Now we just gotta show you guys how to try to get your big one. Just a matter of time. Alright, why don't you shuck some more clams now? Now you get the honor. Jim, that one looks a little bigger than the last one, bro. Yeah, I actually might be able to eat that thing. Too bad it's not radioactive. Hey, Jim, I don't think you need your boat license to fish, bro. Still got him? Yeah, I'm
a decent one. Not really. No? Maybe if you're lake fishing. <laughs> hey, why don't you go make yourself even more really useful and release this thing, bro? Okay, you gotta do a nice catch and release. Yeah, I just throw them, so. Alright, I got you. I'll do I it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Alright, just put on a fresh bait. Walked out there pretty far, so. I think it should just be a matter of time before I get a hit on this rod here. Let's just hope it's big enough to actually put that hook in his mouth. Oh, look at this. Jimmy might actually have another bite. Oh, I might have one myself. Look at this. The water's pretty warm. It's actually getting really warm. It's about 50 degrees now, 55. But it's warm in these shallows right here. And the water's actually pretty clear right now, so these fish are being pretty finicky. Before we thought it was just a smaller fish, but it seems even the bigger ones are just playing with it. We are fishing in Sandy Hook, New Jersey right now. It's in the back bays. Normally we're fishing on the beach, but the thing is, with the hurricane, Hurricane Sandy, we uh, kind of got our beaches that we like to fish on destroyed, so. I think the best of what we have, and probably just as beautiful as being on the beach. Blue skies, water splashing around, you really can't ask for much more, that's for damn sure. I'm gonna try to convince Jimmy how far he can walk out there. He's still working up the carriage, first time in waders in a while, so and I don't think he's ever wore chest waders. Keep walking there, bro. There's no waves, don't be afraid. Nothing's gonna bite you. Come on, bro, keep walking, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think you got a leak in your head. Yeah, you think so? Stay right there, you're good.
two days late today. That's why these rigs work. That fish was playing with it for the last probably five, ten minutes. Ever since, since we watched Jimmy walk out there. And that little play actually just convinced that fish to actually grab that bait. And as you can see, it couldn't look to be per any more perfect than that. So He's not a keeper, but sure felt like it. Definitely a healthy fish, that's for sure. We know it's not about the quantity, but we'll get one quality one. She's about to swim by eventually. Just a matter of Jimmy Gogan right now. <laughs> Good. Mark check, you hooked up again. Second one in a row within 10 minutes. Says a decent sized one. What do you say, Mark? 24 inches? Yeah, he's, he's, he's 30 inches. Yeah? Why don't you put that sucker in the ground and put a random fish? Alright. So I was off by a little bit. Still a beautiful fish. What else did you ask for? Probably 25. Gotta be 28 in New Jersey to keep them. I guess in the wintertime I get a little rusty, so. A little big one's about to come by eventually. Still a beautiful fish. Just shy, buddy. Still not edible. Well, at least legally, that's for sure. Yeah. Sure fit in a pan nice, that's for damn sure. Alright, throw them back. Alright, so we're sitting here our last five minutes of video and still haven't caught that keeper fish to eat yet. A bunch of small guys, but uh, I guess I jinxed Jimmy before because he did lose a few big ones. We're sitting here on our last clam. Hopefully uh, with this last couple minutes we can actually try to get a fish uh, to bend this rod over. Otherwise, I deal with a lot of crap. Unfortunately, uh, the pie came up on us a little too fast and we destroyed most, pretty much all our stuff. And Jimmy's kind of upset. He got a little water in his phone, so now he's uh, soaking in the corner. Why his rods just feel like in rust, like usual. Last few minutes. Small. You lost them? No, it's not. I 
That's a decent one. Best one all day. I'll tell you what, that is some, sure is some good eating right there. Too bad there wasn't 20 other people on the beach. Because I'd be uh, throwing them back just like I should. <laughs> Beautiful fish, bro. What do you think, buddy? You want to catch one more? Should have another crack at it. Let's do it. It is high tide. And this is what happens when you stay out too long. Walk across the channel to get to the fish, the best fishing spot. And then you stay too late, as always. And we have to walk back and our bare feet in the freezing cold. Yeah, that was an adventure. These are caught fish. Too bad we can't eat any of them though, it's the only problem. Hey Jimmy, how was that, bro? Was it worth, was it worth waking up this morning, buddy? Oh. <laughs> no, huh?